Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great thirsty Thursday. Um, a lot of stuff going on, of course. My life is always really, really busy. But I wanted to bring you guys up to speed. Something that... Um, kind of touched on yesterday on the Dan Salio show where he was saying that Jalen Hurts is having a hard time uh, with the new offense. Um, here, here's something. Okay, I tell you what. Let, let, let me go through. Here's something that's going on with the Cowboys that Nick Sirianni can't say. Cowboys coach Mike McCarthy said on Dak Prescott is having the best offseason program. And he's had a really good off-season program the whole time. He's added this atmosphere that we practice in with the quarterbacks and receivers have really hit the mark. And I've been very impressed with the quality of work. Dak Prescott. I'd agree. First and foremost, it was, uh, it's what I put into the game. It's always, I mean, it's what uh, the game means to me. I talk about it every off-season. Any chance we talk, we focus um, is trying to get better, getting better overall in every way that I can, every aspect of my game, making sure I push the other people around me. So that's what we have going on in Dallas. Um, I want to bring up Jalen Hurts' press conference, and he's talking about Kellen Moore's offense. It honestly, you would think that he has just left a funeral. Listen to this. He talks about 95, 95% is all new. Whoa. Listen in. Yeah, like last what? time we talked to you, um, you were talking about being in sponge mode with, with this offense. Where are you in that process now? Are you starting to get more vocal in what you need as well? Yeah, I think, I think you know, this whole entire offseason, um, it's been about learning. Um, learning, learning and taking in a new knowledge, new perspective um, and the minds that we have in the room. Um, and I think throughout the whole entire thing, that's kind of been the emphasis. You know, you get to a point where you kind of feel, um, hey, I'm going I'm to I'm feel comfortable with this. I'm going to like this. But um, that time comes where you can rep it, rep it, rep it later on. But, you know, right now it's been a um, – been a lot of new uh, inventory in, um, majority of it, you know, probably 95% of it being new. Um, and so it's just been, uh, been that process and it's been a fun process because you get to see, um, what works, uh, for other people and the, the number of coaches that I've had, um, since I've been here, I've been able to take in a lot of new knowledge and new understanding. And so, um, I think the goal coming in was to, you know, learn Kellen's offense and, and master it. Um, and I think that's been a process. And I think by the end of it, I want it to be mine um, and, and have it in, in my own way. Um, I think I think that's kind of a credit to, again, the, the, the lack of continuity um, with that and it being a, a thing where I've kind of had to um, – take all these new things and new voices and um, still go out there and be successful and efficient. And so I think that's, um, I think that's exactly what's going to happen again. 95% is really high. Are you surprised it's that kind of wholesale change? Um, well, no, I'm not. But I think a uh, bigger picture of football, you know, a lot of things are similar, right? Like everybody, you know, you can look on the internet and see, okay, well, these guys are running this play or whatever. But, you know, you never know what that player is being coached to do. You never know how they're being taught to do it, how, how to execute it. And so that's exactly what makes it different. Uh, makes it different. The X's and O's, the lines on the paper, they may very well be what they're supposed to be. But how I coach and how I detail these routes, um, how I coach the quarterback, you know, what I want his timing to be, where I want him um, looking, where I want his eyes. You know, are, are receivers reading routes? Are they not reading routes? Are there alerts on this? Are there che checks and adjustments built in on this? Or is it something that, you know, someone has to do, the quarterback has to do? You know, that that's what makes a system a system. All right. 
You did not see a smile. You did not see a laugh. You didn't see anything that was anywhere good. On the contrast, let's listen to Dak Prescott's press conference. Mike was saying he thought this was your best offseason program since he's been here with you. One, would you agree? And two, if you do, why is that? What? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd agree just first and foremost is uh, it's what I put into this game. Um, it's what this game means to me. I talk about it every offseason. Um, any, any chance we talk, that, that my focus is always getting better, getting better overall in every way that I can, every aspect of my game, and making sure I push the other people around me. And Mike's comments are, are a result of, of us doing that from the time this offseason began, um, before it began with the team activities, us guys getting together um, to really – uh, the growth, I guess you can say, in my play and the, the jump I'm making is the second year in his offense as well, is being more comfortable right with the footwork. Uh, guys, the receivers around me, they're second year in it. They're more comfortable. They're more confident. See, here's what I want you to understand, Eagles fans. It's got nothing to do with Jalen Hurts' talent, okay? What I'm trying to say to you, the problem is now I'm learning a new system. And wait till he has to learn. Because, see, here's one of the things that I want you to understand with Dak Prescott. Part of the reason why you had some of the interceptions were the quarterback and wide receivers weren't on the same page. Kellen Moore likes to do these combination routes and stuff. So, you know, if the receiver's reading one thing, the quarterback's reading something else, then the quarterback's throwing over here and expecting you to be here, and he's over there, and you end up having turnovers. So now Jalen Hurts is going to have to learn that right now in this season. He just admitted that he's got 95% is all new. But that's okay. Let's listen some more. Things are just faster off the line from, from the huddle, uh, through the play, to the scramble drill when a play doesn't work. Um, we, all, we were truly understanding. Um, everybody understands, I guess you can say, and it's just making the communication, my approach, uh, and just allowing me, obviously, to play with more confidence. It was such a uncharacteristic performance by the team to end last season. Has that been any motivation at this stage, or is that something this, this stage is just kind of breaking it down, work on yourself, and, and, and the motivation or what you need really kind of goes into training camp forward? Yeah, I mean, the motive, that, that, that should be the start of your offseason. I mean, that's got to motivate you individually. Um, as a man, uh, and then obviously as a football player, to, to go and accomplish the offseason that you want to have, take the steps necessary that you need in the time before you get back with the team. And then when you get back into the team group, obviously um, everybody's feel, everybody feels it. And so that urgency even increases um, at that. But at this point, it's about improving can, on can where we are. Can you feel the excitement we're in, a much in better his place voice? Right now than we were a year ago at this time. And it's about continuing to make those steps. And, um, yeah, that, that, that'll always be a motivation factor, depending on who you are, um, what you did in that game and how it played out. And so, yeah, it'll continue, but um, it's about just making sure these guys are getting better. We all understand the urgencies of um, us improving. Why do you say you're in a better place now than you were a year ago? Yeah, I mean, just second year offensively for sure, right? Second okay. year in Mike's offense. Um, yeah, that, that last year at this time, right, was, was the first time you're hearing these things to you're on the 500 level now, you know what I mean? And you're talking these plays in particular game situations um, down in distances and not just, you know, the the, uh, the breaks, the alignments and things like that, right? We were getting into the, the, the nuts and the bolts of the thing. So, um, yeah, it's just year two of anything. I'm, I'm sure you're two and, you know, right. when you're covering, you're, you're a lot more better, a lot confident in it. And I just think that um, us and the quarterbacks, we just broke down the end of practice and talked about what we felt good about this this offseason uh, in comparison. And, yeah, that was the first thing is being in year two, everything's faster. Outside, being in year two, everything's team, faster. You lost a lot of guys. You didn't replace a lot of veterans. You're going with a lot of young guys. They wouldn't say you're better off talent-wise. And, and how would you address that? Talent's just the beginning, first off. Um, and you, you don't you don't win games with just talent. So, uh, and, and you don't win games on paper and talent's really not decided on paper. So um, I understand what it looks like, what it may look like from the outside. I understand the lack of moves that gets done um, creates that, that, that right, um, yeah. conversation. Uh, <laughs> but I'm confident in the men we have. Honestly, I, I just said it when I was talking about breaking the quarterbacks down. For the last three years, going back to, I guess, Tyler Smith's rookie class, right? I was like, man, it's the best rookie class I've seen. To set it last year, to honestly, I said it again. I'll say it now and very confidently say that they're better than last year's best class. And that's credit to each and every one of those guys 
who've come in with the right mindset. Credit to our coaches that uh, I'm confident in what we've got, what we can do. Second year in this offense, um, you'll see some guys that you know maybe just had, didn't have the opportunity, whose opportunity is upon us and going to make big plays. Guys like Jalen Brooks, Cropper, um, you know, a bunch of Deuce, a bunch of guys that you know just. We're young, but but their their time's coming. Today in seven on seven, so some big plays on both sides of the ball, big energy on both sides of the ball after those big plays. How good mm -hmm. does it feel to kind of already have a training camp feel to your, your reps in early June? I love it. Uh, we all know I love to to compete, talk trash. Um, so that that that's the the base of it. You have to have fun doing this, and we know each and every day we're gonna come in, we're gonna compete against each other, but the, but we're trying to to get each other better. And so, no better way than to do uh, than competing, talking. Um, having energies high, celebrating after big plays, uh, and it just makes it fun. It makes that whole iron sharp and iron fun, understanding you're dealing with heat, dealing with all this other stuff, but at the end of the day, we're just trying to get better um, and let's have fun doing it. How do you balance that? How do you balance this period? I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and stop that right there because I know i got Eagle fans in here. I don't want to make him feel too sad. But you can see the excitement from Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott is like, we're in year number two of this thing. Everything is speeded up. You know, it's basically second nature. You got Jalen Hurts and like, I'm, I'm trying to master this thing. You know, it's not, ooh. Yeah. Dak Prescott just explained, in Dak Prescott's words about why they're going to be in a better position than the Eagles. Cry. <clears throat> Eagles cry. As always, you know, I appreciate you guys. Always. By the way, King Dick back here. And so before we start this video, I got to get this mother humping thing out of the way. 